Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta, the crochet world. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a hexagon puff stitch coaster. And it looks like this. Here it is. It's a nice flowery style coaster. And for this one, I've used my 100% cotton yarn. And for this project, I've used a three and a half mm of the hook here it is so let's begin so here it is we will start with a magic circle so just have your yarn and have your yarn around your fingers like this and have the second strain of yarn at the back have your hook and insert your hook like this grab your yarn and turn your hook and this is your magic circle now we have a chain one here now this chain one is not a stitch i made this chain one only to secure my this magic circle now we will loosen up our work here our yarn on over this hook a little bit like this and now we are start having our puff stitches on over this round round number one and now for this round we're gonna have our six puff stitches so for that yarn over for three times so here it is yarn over for the first time insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over for the second time insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn you're gonna have five loops on your hook yarn over for the third time insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn and you're gonna have seven loops on your hook so here it is it's one two three four five six and seven you're gonna have seven loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through all seven loops and chain one and this is your first puff stitch with one chain one and we are going to repeat over this pattern for another five times we're going to need over this puff stitches and chain one for six times so here it is we already got over this one puff stitch and chain one and now we will have another five puff stitches here so for that yarn over again for the first time insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn yarn over for the second time insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn yarn over for the third time and insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn you can have seven loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your this loops and chain one again yarn over insert your hook and grab your yarn yarn over insert your hook and grab your yarn yarn over insert your hook and grab your yarn you're gonna have seven loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your this seven loops and chain one you already got your this three puff stitches you're gonna need another three puff stitches here so for that yarn over insert your hook grab your yarn yarn over insert your hook and grab your yarn yarn over insert your hook and grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through all of your this loops seven loops and chain one here again have another puff stitch so it's one two three and chain one and now we will have our last puff stitch so here it is one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your loops and chain one so here it is we got over this six puff stitches with six chain one so it's one two three four five and six and here it is now this is the end of our round number one we are gonna just pull our yarn a little bit here it is and now we will go to this stitch here so this is your chain one remember we are not going to go to this chain one we will go to this first puff stitch and this is your puff stitch and we will insert our hook into our this puff stitch here like this and yarn over grab your yarn through this puff stitch and have one slip stitch here here it is and this is the end of our round number one now for your round number two we're going to change the color of our yarn so for that we're going to have our the second color and we will insert our color here so for that here it is we're gonna attach over the second color here tighten up with this work here it is and now have chain one again i'm just gonna tighten up my work here so here it is have chain one and now we will go in between these two puff stitches so here it is this is your first puff stitch and this is your last puff stitch we will go in between these two puff stitches and we will go to this chain one space here so we will go to this chain one space and here we're going to have our two puff stitches so for that have you this chain one loosen up your work a little bit yarn over and insert your hook into this space here and grab your yarn 
you're gonna have three yarn overs here so it's one two and three you're gonna have seven loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through all seven loops and chain one and we will have another puff stitch into this same space so here it is yarn over set your hook and grab your yarn it's one yarn over second time and grab your yarn yarn over for the third time insert your hook into the space and grab your yarn you're gonna have seven loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through all seven loops and chain one here it is and now we will skip over this next puff stitch so we will skip over this next puff stitch and we will go to this chain one space here and again we are going to have another two puff stitches here with one chain one with each puff stitch so here it is just like this we're going to repeat over this pattern so go to this chain one space yarn over and have two puff stitches here so that's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your this loops and chain one and have another one puff stitch here so it's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your stitches and chain one and now keep on repeating this pattern so again we will skip over this next puff stitch we will go to this chain one space and we will have another two puff stitches here with one chain one with each of your puff stitch you're gonna have one chain one so here it is it's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your loops chain one and have another puff stitch here so it's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your this loops and chain one now keep on repeating this pattern on this next three chain one spaces and in total you're going to have your 12 puff stitches and i'm going to meet you at the end here so here it is i got my this 12 puff stitches and it looks like this and again i will go to this stitch here so this is my first stitch this is my chain one and this is my first stitch this is my chain one here so we will not go to this chain one this is the chain one when we have attached our this color so here this is our puff stitch we will go to this puff stitch insert your hook into this puff stitch and grab a yarn and have one slip stitch here and here it is this is the end of your round number two now for your round number three we will again change the color of our yarn so here it is our first color is here we haven't cut our color over yarn and we will attach our yarn here now while attaching this yarn just keep that in mind that your yarn is not that stretched it should be loose enough because we don't want to shrink our work if your yarn will be stretched here your work will shrink so we don't want that so here it is just keep that in mind while attaching your yarn every single time so here it is always check at the back your yarn should be loose enough so that it will have a space to expand your work will expand here it is now turn your work and we will go again at the back on this chain one space so in between this two stitches and here we're gonna have only one puff stitch now it's important to have only one puff stitch here because we are working on the hexagon style hexagon shape and it is important to have only one puff stitch in between these two puff stitches on your round number two so here it is we are here and here we're gonna have only one puff stitch so here it is attach your this second sorry your first color chain one and go to this space here so just loosen up your work on your this hook just like this and yarn over and insert your hook into this space and grab your yarn so it's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your other stitches loops and chain one and have only one puff stitch here just as i mentioned and now we will be here on this two puff stitches together and here we will skip over this next puff stitch and we will have another two puff stitches in between this two puff stitches into this chain one space here so always remember to have your two puff stitches in between these two puff stitches do not go somewhere here do not have only one puff stitch here and two puff stitches here it's not going to give you a shape so here it is go to this chain one space and yarn over and insert your hook and have another two puff stitches here so here it is it's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all of this loops chain one and have another puff stitch into the same space one two and three here it is and chain one 
and it looks like this and now we will repeat our this pattern all the way on our this round round number three so again this is our next space and here we're gonna have only one puff stitch so here it is yarn over insert your hook have two and three have three yarn overs yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your this puff stitches sorry all of your this loops and chain one again we will be here on this chain one space and have two puff stitches here so here it is it's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your this loops chain one yarn over insert your hook into the same space and have another puff stitch here so that's one two and three yarn overs yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your loops and chain one here it is now keep on repeating this pattern all the way on over this round round number three so again here you're gonna have your only one puff stitch here you're gonna have your two puff stitches again here you're gonna have your one puff stitch and here you're gonna have your two puff stitches and keep on repeating this pattern and by the end you're gonna have your 18 puff stitches one eight and i'm gonna meet you here at the end and here it is at the end of my round number three i'm here and i got my this 18 puff stitches and it looks like this and now again we will go to this first puff stitch so skip your this next puff stitch go to this first puff stitch insert your hook and grab yarn and have one slip stitch here and here it is it looks like this and now again we'll change the color of our yarn so here again keep in mind that your yarn is fairly loose here it's not too stretched otherwise your work will shrink here it is and now just gonna tighten up my this yarn and again i'm gonna have a chain one and i will go to this space so i will go at the back into this space here and here i'm gonna have only one puff stitch so here again as we are working on over this hexagon style we will have only one puff stitch here and one puff stitch here and as and when we will have over this two puff stitches we will have two puff stitches into that one chain one space so again here we are here and we are going to have only one puff stitch so start with one puff stitch only so just loosen up your work and yarn over and insert your hook and have your three yarn overs here so one two and three yarn over and pull it through all of your loops and chain one again skip this next puff stitch go to this chain one space and have only one puff stitch here so it's one two and three chain one and as we are here into this two puff stitches into one chain one space we will have another two puff stitches here on over this one chain one space so here it is it's one two three and always remember to have a chain one after every puff stitch so it's here one two and three here and now we will repeat our this pattern all the way on our this round round number four for next one chain one space we're gonna have one puff stitch only so it's one two and three chain one and for next one have one puff stitch only one two and three and have chain one here it is now we are here so here into this chain one space we're gonna have two puff stitches It's one, two, and three. It's one puff stitch. And your second puff stitch. One, two, and three. Chain one. Here it is. And now keep on repeating your pattern. And by the end, you're going to have your 24 puff stitches. So here it is. For this next chain one space, have only one puff stitch. For your next chain one space, have one, only one puff stitch. And you will be here on this two puff stitches so here have two puff stitches on this chain one space keep on repeating this pattern one puff stitch one puff stitch and then two puff stitches and by the end you're gonna have your 24 stitches 24 puff stitches and i'm gonna meet you here at the end and here it is i'm at the end of my this round round number four and it looks like this and again i will go to this first puff stitch so this is my first puff stitch i will insert my hook into my this stitch and will grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch here and that's how we're going to finish over this round round number four and now for your last round round number five here we will attach our this first color so heavy yarn and attach your this first color again just keep that in mind that your 
yarn is moderately loose at the back and now we will have chain one tighten up your work here it is and loosen up your work on your this hook and yarn over and have one puff stitch here so here it is it's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your loops and chain one now we will skip over this next puff stitch and we will go to this chain one space and here again we're gonna have only one puff stitch so it's one two and three yarn over pull your yarn through all of your loops chain one again we will skip over this next puff stitch and into this chain one space we will have only one puff stitch one two and three and have your yarn and chain one here and we are again here on our this two puff stitches into one chain one so here again we're gonna have two puff stitches into over this one chain one so here it is have only one puff stitches for this one chain one spaces and for this fourth space have two puff stitches together so here it is insert your hook in here yarn over it's one two and three yarn over and pull and through all of your loops chain one and go again into that same chain one space and have your another puff stitch here it is and now we will repeat exactly the same on all the way around on our this round round number five so again for next three chain one space we will have only one puff stitch so here it is this is our next chain one space we have only one puff stitch here it's one two and three chain one go to this next one and have only one puff stitch here on this next chain one space and again skip this next puff stitch go to this next chain one space and have only one puff stitch here here like this and now we will go to this chain one space and because we are here we are we got our this two puff stitches into only one chain one space we will have two puff stitches here on one chain one space so here it is it is one puff stitch chain one and your another puff stitch and chain one here now repeat your this pattern all the way on your this round round number five and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is i'm at the end of my this round last round round number five and i got my this 30 puff stitches so you're gonna have your 30 puff stitches here and here it is now again we will go to this next puff stitch this one insert your hook grab your yarn and have one slip stitch here tighten up your work and here it is now turn your this work and we're gonna cut over this yarn here and this one both of this secure your this stitch and now we're gonna have a needle here and now this is our last puff stitch go to this chain one here this is your chain one so here you already worked your stitch you made your this last slip stitch here go to this next stitch insert your needle like this take out your needle from the back here and this is your slip stitch so this one is a slip stitch insert your this needle into the slip stitch here and take it out from the back taking all the loop take out your this needle from the back and here it is this is a nicely kneaded stitch so your work will not be uneven you're gonna have your flawless stitch here and here it is it looks like this now go at the back and hide your all of this ends in here and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is our this coaster is ready with puff stitch and it looks like this and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye